Amanda Sickman and I live uh, outside of Apopka, Illinois in the country. Um, I've always done creative things, but I came to clay rather late in my life. And I just have been, my, most of my clay training has been through community classes and intensive study programs and lots and lots of workshops. I'd always worked with uh, other materials. I've done jewelry, metal, smithing, um, handmade books, I love paper, but I knew somewhere in my life I had to work in some clay and once I got the chance to try that there was like no looking back. I just took the clay and ran with it. Go. Connection to Illinois, that's um, funny. I grew up in Southern California but I moved here as a fairly new bride and there have been a few times through the years that I've wondered what was I thinking. Usually that's in February or March, but anyway, I, I really do feel very connected to the land. We've always lived in the country, and it's there's a definite connection to the land there that I wouldn't have gotten from some other location. I came up with the idea for the group, and I already knew most of the, the current members, so I just put, put it out to them. I have this idea, and let's try it, and as a means of support and getting critique and feedback on our work, and it's been helpful I think for all of us so studio rituals usually I take a few minutes when I get to the studio to just sort of take some deep breaths and quiet my mind she may shift gears from whatever else is going on in my day um, coffee is a huge influence in my day and uh, if I'm if I'm working on a new series, I will I will keep a studio log, and so sometimes I will sit down and take a few minutes to make make some notes on something particular that I'm working on or an idea that I've had to maybe work on in the future. I work with no music; that's just me, but it doesn't work for everybody. But it's I want to hear the birds. Starting a new piece—that's always a challenge. It's, sometimes I surprise myself. Something just happens and I'm not really planning it. Usually I have some sort of inspiration. Usually it's something from nature that I've seen, a pod or a twisted gnarly piece of wood or something along that line that will send me in one direction or another. I hope each of our work stands strong as we are individual strong people, women, and that should be reflected in our work. But there's also uh, an undercurrent of friendship and strong ties and respect for the other artists. Yeah, that's all right. Nature probably is my biggest. We live on a farm and I'm, my studio is surrounded by cornfields and streams and all life, wildlife and all kinds of nature. So that certainly is a big influence. When I built my studio, I have a tree that is a, my lifetime favorite, and I planted the tree before I built my studio so it would be there. I would hope that, that the work would invoke some sort of feeling that maybe something they've experienced in nature or in their life, um, especially in pieces that are in this show. Uh, I also do a lot of functional things, and I think for me that's important that those pieces bring comfort and enhance the experience of using them on a daily basis. Mm -hmm.